Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8 and also Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about some new news in regards to a big crossover event starting in Season 8. And also got some big new news in regards to who is going to be a series regular and who's going to be showing up again next season. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So there's two major pieces of information that we're going to be going over in this video. Also we got like something quite similar to do with season 8 that's going to be probably the topic of tomorrow's video so stick around for that, subscribe, turn on notifications to not miss any of that. But for now let's go ahead and get into the first topic. And this first topic is to do with season 8 specifically because the CW just the other day they announced their 2021 to 2022 schedule for full. We know that The Flash is coming back in the full time, Superman Lois isn't coming back, so Superman Lois is going to premiere in January for Season 2, probably going to be more linked to the Arrowverse as a whole. However, yes, the CW did announce Flash is coming back full, so that's either October or November time, it remains to be seen, because right now we know that Stargirl and Supergirl should end sometime around November, so maybe the CW's full schedule starts like a couple weeks later than normal as they still readjust to normal because right now things aren't exactly normal even though they're trying to get more towards that kind of 2019 to 2020 kind of release schedule what they had before but anyway so with the flash coming back for season 8 it's been confirmed and it's been renewed so we knew it was happening and now we have some information about what actually could be happening in season 8 because the CW just confirmed that being Mark Pedowitz, the CEO and president of the network. He has said that the Flash season 8 begins with a 5 episode event and so he is implying that this is going to be the coming together of lots of heroes from all over the Arrowverse. Recently it was rumoured and confirmed by Crest himself that you know, he wants to return as Black Lightning and there's been some talks about him returning to the Flash specifically. So, what is going to be going on in these first five episodes of Season 8? Number one, let's start with this. It is kind of strange that they are starting off the season with like this big kind of crossover event. And when I say crossover event, they are saying this is like a big five episode event rather than naming it as specifically a crossover because I believe in these episodes you can have like one big hero show up in one episode, then the next you'll get someone else and then the next you'll get someone else and so on and so forth. I think it's going to be more like that because they would have specifically said, oh, a crossover is happening. And I think this is the replacement once again for the crossover because I don't think they're going to be able to do that big crossover by the time of like October, November. They could do another crossover in the back half of the season. That is definitely possible. So I think for now they are sticking with this and this is going to be the Arrow versus crossover for the year. And so you have them confirming that all these heroes are going to be showing up. They haven't said that it's going to be like everyone in the Arrowverse, but more so they've implied that it's going to be specific people to, you know, these different shows who will be showing up in The Flash Season 8. So, yeah, what is going on and what heroes could show up? Well, obviously there is a chance that Supergirl could show up, only really because if The Flash starts filming on time and just before Supergirl ends, there's a possibility that before Melissa leaves Vancouver for good, there is a chance that they could have like a couple of days filming and Supergirl does like one episode showing up on The Flash as their final crossover. And I think fans would really want that. However, I'm not sure if the schedules are gonna align. But for now, I would say the safe bet for the crossover episodes, because you have those five episodes, let's presume there are five different heroes that are going to be the main feature crossover characters. So I would say you would have Stargirl, Black Lightning, Batwoman, Legends of Tomorrow, so that would probably be White Canary, and then you would have Superman from Superman Lois. So I would say those are like the five big things right now, and if we exclude Supergirl because we're not sure if the schedules are going to align, it seems like that is probably our best bet as of right now as to who is going to show up and they're probably going to appear in different episodes in order to kind of skip around the rules 
with what they've got in Vancouver right now when they're filming basically is really hard to cross over like whole crews like a bunch of cast so if they have like one or two leading crossover characters in each episode they can do that a lot easier than crossing over like say everyone so that's my theories right now what do you think about this let me know in the comments down below but let's move on to the next thing so the next thing is this is confirmed by Ken he is an insider in Vancouver he has a lot of very very solid sources who have been extremely correct in the past so still take it with a grain of salt because it's not like officially confirmed by the CW however it's very strong and he's been told that none other than Jay Garrick is going to be returning next season along with Bart Allen. So this is something that we kind of expected, right? Because they're setting up Bart Allen in the penultimate episode, they will have him in the finale as well, and you would kind of presume it would probably continue on from there because he is a major character and he is Barry and Iris's future son, so there is obviously a lot there to explore and considering they cast him, they put him in the two major episodes of this season, you would presume that he's probably going to return at some point. So when I saw that he was only coming for the final two episodes in the press release when Jordan Fisher was first cast, I was like, okay, I'm pretty sure he's going to be coming into season eight because they're definitely prepping it right now. And you can see that with this crossover announcement for the first five episodes, that means they've got most of the story cracked down. So I would presume, or I was presuming at the time, that Jordan would return as Bart Allen in season eight. But now we've got confirmation that Bart Allen is going to be showing up in season eight. That is fantastic news. I am super excited for the character. Obviously, this is not the exact character from the comics. He is the son of Barry and Iris rather than the future grandson of Barry and Iris. So there is some stuff that they can explore. Maybe they're going to do it in a very similar situation to how they portray Nora. Because obviously they're siblings and they are going to be showing up in the penultimate episode, the 150th episode that is. And also the finale, they're going to be teaming up side by side. We kind of presumed maybe Nora wouldn't stick around if any of them were to leave. It would probably be her. And that's because Jessica Parker Kennedy is pretty busy. And so with Jordan showing up and him being Bart Allen, in Season 8, you will have that opportunity like you did in Season 5 with Nora to explore his relationship with his parents and maybe you'll get like extra insight about like their future and his arrival links directly into Godspeed. So you could presume maybe what happens in season eight also has a link to him considering that he's probably gonna stick around for a while. And I would presume he is going to be amped up to a series regular rather than just like a recurring guest star who just appears for a couple of episodes because he is a very important character. However, on the flip side, with Jay Garrick supposedly coming back in season eight, I think he is not going to be a regular because it's very unlikely if they're introducing another speedster for them to have like another one on top of that. So I'm gonna say, Jay is probably going to show up like a couple of episodes throughout season 8, kind of like what he's been doing for the past few seasons, and also this season, obviously at the end, we're seeing him for two episodes, and next season I presume we'll see him for like two or three episodes. They probably want him to come back just because he is a very important character, although he isn't like pivotal to have around Team Flash all the time. So what do you guys think about all of this? I'm super excited to have Bart Allen show up in season 8 along with season 7 and also Jay showing up as well. This is very exciting news and I can't wait for the crossover. Hopefully they do work it out that Supergirl can show up. We don't know right now, however we can cross our fingers and hope. But that's about it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment if you did enjoy the video, really helps out if you leave that like. Also subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new and click right here on the top right corner of the screen if you want to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.